Hey guys, let's talk about last night's episode of Arrow and um, Malcolm Merlin. Hello. Okay, so this second season is crazy right now and I'm loving every second of it. So the major storyline this episode was, of course, uh, Moira's uh, court case was coming to a head and it was do or die. Is she going to be guilty? Is she going to be innocent? And during this court case, there is a big reveal and that is that her... And Malcolm Merlin had an affair. I mean, I think we all kind of knew that something had shady had happened between the two of them, but it was never actually confirmed. And now it is. And we also find out at the very end of the episode that Thea is his daughter. Um, <laughs> what was that? So... In other news, we had The Count. And if you remember back in last season, The Count was trying to, um, he was basically like a, a vertigo dealer. And, you know, he was one of the people that um, uh, Oliver was trying to take down. And he did, and he was in prison. And of course, once the earthquake happened, he escaped. And his whole plan, though, was actually not just to infect people, but it was to kill Oliver Queen, a AKA the Arrow. And who financed this? Hmm, Mr. Sebastian Blood. Yes, the man who was up to absolutely no good. So he had helped him get out of prison. Well, he didn't really help him get out of prison, but because he escaped because of the earthquake, but he got in contact with him and he set him out to kill Oliver Queen, which was awesome. Sebastian Blood is up to no good, and I love it. Then we had the flashbacks, and I'm really liking what we're finding out on this island. So, of course, Oliver has been kidnapped, and he's with Dr. Ivo, and Sarah's working for Dr. Ivo, and they want him to locate not only his people, which is Shadow and Slate, so that they can kill them, but to locate these Japanese soldiers who um, died because they are interested in this like arrowhead and this arrowhead has coordinates on it and the coordinates lead to the submarine which ultimately leads to this serum that Dr. Ivo is looking for which can save all of mankind. So that is the mission on the island. And of course, there's this huge standoff between Shadow Slade and Dr. Ivo and his people. And they end up shooting at, one, at some of the people. Oliver grabs Sarah and they run off into the woods. And of course, they set off some, some explosions and boom, poof, they, like it goes just for a distraction. And this is when we find out that um, I believe it's Shadow took the arrowhead and has it and this is where we find out about the coordinates and this is where Sarah reveals to them that this is why it's so important that this serum that we heard from last season a uh, last episode can save all of mankind and it's kind of crazy but it's kind of awesome and Dr. Ivo is not very nice and you know one of the his soldiers and lieutenants has that that was holding um Oliver he just shoots him in the head because he's absolutely no useless to him now and he just puts some other man in charge so clearly Dr. Ivo is not somebody you want to mess with. And I'm really digging all the stuff that's going on on the island. And it was interesting when um, Shadow came um, face to face with Sarah and she was like, who's this girl? Because obviously Shadow has a thing for Oliver and, you know, they had a little something, something on the island. And then we all know that Sarah and Oliver had a little something, something on, on the boat. So it was actually kind of cute when she was like, who's this? And then Oliver's like, it's a long story. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. But um, all in all, the flashbacks are starting to really um, give us a lot of um, backstory. And then also Slade, as you know, in, in last week's episode, we saw that he had burns on the side of his face and he is still struggling. And now it looks like his face has been painted half black. So that was kind of cool. And, you know, Oliver says, like, if we find this serum, is it going to be able to help Slade? So that's another interesting twist. Like, does this serum give Slade more powers, who knows, only time will tell. But the end scene, so now we have the verdict and Mora is uh, not guilty. And of course we're all like, really? She should have been a locked up key, thrown away, never see the light of day. But she gets released and of course even Oliver's like, hmm, that was kind of weird. And um, Laurel was the one who ended up having to be the prosecutor against her. So that was also another reason why 
you know, um, Laurel is spiraling out of control because she's, she's, it's like literally she's just being loaded on like, you know, what more damage can I do? And she ends, and it ends up, she loses the case, Maura gets sent free, and as she's on her way home, she's driven to this empty parking lot, the driver gets uh, shot with an arrow, out of nowhere comes M Malcolm Merlin, um, I thought he died, I thought Mr. Oliver Queen, aka the arrow, killed him at the end of last season, looks like they didn't, and he is pretty much all up in her face saying you look like you needed help because there's no way that you were going to be set free out of that trial and now I can't wait to pretty much get to know my daughter Thea. What? Oh god. This show is just hitting with all the punches and I'm loving it. So, I mean, I could have done, I, I didn't really care about the, the trial and that was kind of like the most boring part of the whole episode. But the fact that we get Malcolm Merlin at the end of it, two thumbs up. And then there was another cute scene between Felicity and Oliver. And I know that a lot of people are shipping these two. I still see them more like brother and sister. But, you know, he did. What was also very interesting was because Oliver or the Arrow has made the conscious decision not to kill people anymore. And he's pretty much just been like wounding them, like shooting them in the, in the shoulder, in the knee, in the leg or whatever but he's not actually killing them and he ended up killing the Count. And that's the first time he's killed anybody since season one. And Felicity feels guilty because she's like, I'm sorry that I'm the one who set you on this path again. And he's like, listen, you were in danger and there was no choice. Like, obviously I'm gonna save your life every time. So, you know, it was a nice little scene between the two of them. And I mean, come on, like if, if the writers end up going there, Fine, I'll concede and I'll let it play out and I won't be mad at it. But I still kind of see them as like a brother-sister duo, not as a love interest. And, uh, you know, fine. Like, I, I give up, okay? If that's the way it's going to go, fine. But the last, you know, part where Sebastian, he, he is just, you know, the man with two faces because he's acting as if he's looking out for everybody in the glades and he's there to represent the people but he is out on his own mission because at the end, um, one of it looks like a cop. Like he basically says, "I sent, I, I let the count go so he could kill um, the arrow, and now I've got I'm staring at the count dead, and letting the vigilante go back out and kill again." And then this man that he's talking to, like a police officer, says, "We have a problem," or there's like there's a there's something that you need to see. And he takes him to this warehouse and there's all these guys sitting on this chair and they've got, got like blood dripping out of their eyes. And you're kind of like, uh, what's going on? And then Sebastian says, Brother Cyrus, how do you feel? And he's like, I feel better or stronger. And he's like, good, you're ready then. And it's like, what? I mean, this show, I'm really enjoying it. Guys, that is my review of Arrow. Another good week. I'll see you guys next week. Talk to you later. Bye.